Hello again, welcome back to another day of Qigong. अलग अलग अवस्था में अलग अलग तरीके से इस सराव को किया जा सकता है जिसे लोग सहजता से अपना कर अपने रोजमर्रा के अभ्यास में इसे कर सकते हैं Our feet, shoulder width apart, hands on the hips, head still, circling around. Like my hip is a bowl of soup, trying not to spill it, keeping it level. First clockwise, then anti-clockwise. Then we did a seated warm-up for the knees. Using our hands, getting our hands nice and warm, to hold on our knee and then rub around to massage it and warm it up. Right, sat down. Then we began to stretch the body out. Our first stretch with a nice broad stance. We're stretching up above our heads. We did it a number of different ways. If you remember, breathing out, holding the breath. Just a second, breathing back in, staying nice and relaxed. Breathing out, holding, and breathing in. And then when we finish, breathing out. Now for the next exercise, I'm going to stretch out again, but this time to the sides. If you can see either side of me, there's a pillar. In my mind, I push them apart. Now, be careful. You can see the pillars are behind me. If I really push to the pillar, I will hurt my shoulders, hurt my back. So when you stretch out, only stretch out to the sides. Most people think they're stretching to the side when really they're doing that. So make sure you're not one of them. To be safe, you can even go a little bit to the front. Not here, too much. Here, that's fine. A little bit like you push something apart. Open up some big doors. Okay, so how do we do it? First, we breathe in. Draw, relax the elbows. Breathe out. Fingers up. Get a little stretch to your arms. Be careful, you don't hunch the shoulders. Drop them nice and Breathe out. Breathing back in. If you're tired or stiff, and drop them down, breathe out. Breathing in, in your own time. Drop the elbows, breathe out as you push the two hands apart, fingers up. Like you pull two ends of the string, the rest in the middle is soft. Breathing back in, out once again. When your breath tells you, you're ready to breathe in. Relaxing, breathing out and holding the breath, just a second or two. In, out, let all the weight drop down. Wait for your breath. In, follow your breath. Down, out. Now hold the breath. Relax and in. Breathing in. Breathing out as you come down. So you see you're relaxing between each stretch. Breathing out as you stretch apart. Fingers up, breathing in. Out as we go. If that's difficult for you, you find the stretching difficult, do what you can. Maybe you can only go to here. Maybe it's hard for you to get the fingers up. Here, the fingers do nothing. Here, they at least do something. Do what you can without hurting yourself. Stretch out. Sometimes you do, if you're not careful, you're doing more work, but for less benefit, this is no good. Hands in front, to the side, stretching. 
This part, really relax, really let the weight come down. And then, for this one, we're finished. So, maybe we have time for one more. इनियांग को कई बार विरुद्ध ध्रुव दो सिरे कहा जाता है अगर आप उस प्रतीक को देखेंगे तो उसमें आपको दो हिस्से इकट्ठा नजर आएंगे और दोनों भाग किसी मछली की तरह एक दूसरे के समीप इस तरह नजर आएंगे तो इसके पीछे की कल्पना यह है कि भला वे दोनों एक दूसरे के विरुद्ध हो लेकिन वह एक दूसरे की हमेशा प्रशंसा करते हैं अगर आप किसी एक को देखते हैं तो आपको उस हिस्से की आग का रंग अलग नजर आएगा काले हिस्से में सफेद रंग की आंखें और सफेद में काले रंग की आग नजर आती है हम इसके बारे में विस्तार से बहुत कुछ कह सकते हैं लेकिन इसकी सीधी कल्पना यह है कि एक दूसरे के विरुद्ध होने के बावजूद वह एक दूसरे के प्रशंसक है आप दोनों के सिरे को जबरदस्ती इकट्ठा लाने की बल्कि बल्कि मध्यम मार्ग निकालते हैं तो जब आप खड़े रहते हैं तो आप संतुलित अवस्था में रहते हैं आप काफी सुस्त भी नहीं है काफी तनावपूर्ण भी नहीं रहते तो आप पूरी तरह से जागरूक रहते हैं और काफी मुलायम भी रहते हैं पूरी तरह से आरामदायक उसी वक्त स्थिति में होते हैं इस तरह आप दोनों सिरे को इकट्ठा लाते हैं लेकिन वह एक दूसरे के लिए प्रशंसात्मक होते हैं अगर आपका मन नींद की अवस्था में होगा तो काफी घातक होगा आप नींद में नीचे गिर सकते हैं अगर आप काफी ताकत लगाते हैं तो यह भी ठीक नहीं होगा आपको दोनों बातों का ख्याल रखना होगा vertical line just like the pillars here so there are two pillars do you see and across the top a straight beam this is my straight beam okay so my two hands they will separate and push up without letting this happen can you see that straight beam across the middle has gone so try to keep that level so i can breathe in i can breathe out And again, hold my breath. Can you see my hands vertical like the pillars? If you can. If not, do what you can in that direction. Breathing in, back into it. Out, pushing the two apart. Hold the breath again. Fingers straight if you can. In. Out. Try to time them so that the two hands finish together at the same time your downward push finishes with your upward push hold in back in out we push up gently hold the breath just a second in out holding in how feel the stretch along the body in and ah so we stretch the body a number of ways now when we stretch up we pull on everything take some pressure off the organs try to help our whole body when we've gone out to the side pushing the two pillars take the pressure off my chest relaxing my heart and my lungs when we push this way can you see the stretch here and help everything down this side and also down the other side too we change the two so can you see we've done our first three of these stretching exercises so we finished our stretching we've stretched up we've stretched to the sides and we stretched up and down at the same time the two hands together next we need to begin the real thing the heart of the standing the jam jong practice itself to do this we will need to get in touch with one of the energy centers in our body and learn how to stand connecting to the energy around us but for that you have to watch next time